Tiffany is the kind of name my girlfriend would give as a fake name to a guy. Fun fact, when I went to a club a long time ago in downtown Fullerton, it, went, it was in NorCal, I wanted someone to buy me a drink, so I would sit at the bar by myself and just wait for someone to buy me a drink. And a guy came up and he's like, can I get you a drink? And I was like, yeah. And he, he asked what I'd like, and I was like, can I get him a Dory Sour? And he's like, what's your name? And I was like, I'm April, nice to meet you. April was my fake bar name. And then I felt inclined to talk to him for 20 more minutes because like, oh dang, I can't just like, thanks for the drink and F off. So I was just like, so what do you do? Blah, 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 blah. About 20 minutes, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go catch up with my friends. But yeah, I use April as my, my like bar name. So I just like the name. And then, um, you know, I woke up to a text the next morning. Hey, April. And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Ghost forever. I gave my number. I gave my number to this person. So I don't know if I ever, I think I've said that before, but like a long time ago. But in case I didn't, I haven't said it in years, but I used to lie about my name because you can be whoever you want. I'm not, but I did give my real number out, which was the mistake. Fake name, real number is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I told that, okay. Yeah, so that was that. Also, I think I told this too before, but there was, so when I was younger, I was in the summer camp. I was just in the summer camp, um, a basketball camp actually. And there was a guy who was super, super, super cute. I was like, oh my God, this is the hottest guy I've ever seen in my life. I was like nine. Okay. I wrote it in my journal and I was like, wow. And I would like draw his name with hearts and stuff around it. Cause I was like, he's so, uh. anyways, I wrote him down. We never talked, <clears throat> but we were in the same basketball camp. I was just admiring him. That club in downtown Fullerton many years later. Okay. We're literally, I, I see him in the line. Okay. But I'm like, I've never talked to him, but I know it's him. I bump into him like we, we just like you know and he's like I don't know if I walked into him or like how I started the conversation but I was like like Eli right and then he's like I'm sorry do I know you and I was like yes from basketball camp many years ago you do I don't think we ever talked and he's like oh no no I think I do know you I what was your name and I was like Leslie it's fine though um anyways so like I don't know, I was feeling some kind of confident way. So I was like, can I get you a drink? He's like, yeah, sure. I got him a drink. I paid all night. I was like, here you go. Take another one. I was, okay, I was confident. Some nights I was, you know, I was April Fool's out there. Um, and then, and then he, he actually like got like super interested. Uh, and then he just thought, he just texted me like a ton. And then I started to realize I think like, I wasn't really into it. <laughs> I don't know why. I just wasn't feeling him. Um, and then he was like, hey, you going out this weekend? Hey, you going out this weekend? I was like, oh no, like, I don't know if I am going out this weekend. And then he started to like stalk a bunch of the stuff I, I like, like not like stalk me, but like he would like go through all my social media and like he started to realize like I like Pokemon and stuff. He messaged me, he's like, hey, you like Pokemon and stuff, right? And then I was like, oh, I do, you know, and, and I didn't know, like, and then I didn't know how to like call it off. Like, it's not like we were a thing. Like we didn't even date or anything. We didn't even like hook up or anything. We just like, we just like had that evening that where I like, I, I, I was like, oh my God, the guy of my seventh grade dreams, I found him and he's, he likes me, the guy of my dreams, you know, but like, I'm not in seventh grade anymore, but like, you know, in seventh grade, I was like, <laughs> and uh, I just didn't know how to do it. So I kind of just like awkwardly like stopped messaging him and then became really avoidant of the bar. And I'm like, I don't know how to approach that situation. Like, should I've just been like, I'm not into it. But like he was, we it was he was never like straight up like, hey, I like you. It was just like constant conversation. So I didn't feel the need to be like, hey, you're coming on to me. I don't want to be like, hey, I'm like not into you. And he was like, I never, like, I'm not into you either. Why? Why are you assuming I'm into you? I didn't want to have that awkward situation of assuming he's like, because he never straight up said it. But he definitely, you know what I mean? Man, I can't even. So long ago. The guy I like likes me back. Block. No, but that's what happened in, when I was a kid. I would like a guy. The second they'd like me back, I'd be allergic to them. And I would tell my mom. And she said, it's called a boy allergy. It's a thing. Because I was like, mom, I'm confused. I like him. And then he likes me. I got to go. <laughs> I'm now terrified. Because what happens after that? Date? Kiss? No, but like literally, no, no, your taste changed. But like I was in seventh grade totally in love with this guy like I I thought I loved him okay 
we had this whole AIM exchange and he was like, I have a crush on somebody. I was like, I have a crush on somebody. And I was like, wait, oh my God, like, who is it? And he's like, I can't tell you. And I was like, what about you? And he's like, I can't tell. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay. How about this? Like you tell the person you like that you like them and I'll tell the person that I like that I like them. And he's like, uh, okay. Uh, and then it gets like kind of awkward. And then my face is like turning red. Cause I'm like, oh my God, like, wait, is it me? I was like, no, there's no way. And then he's like, okay, what if the person that I liked was you and in that exact moment my all my feelings vanished <laughs> vanished gone i was like then, then you should not tell her and she would not like you and you should really not say anything because that'd be really awkward <laughs> like what i i just remember being like why i literally freaked out <laughs> And, and, and why? And, and then I would explain that to my friends, right? I had this girl, this best friend named Eunice, okay? She was like the most fabulous girl ever. It's just, she was like, the, she was like, I liked her so much because she was like what I thought I could attain to be, but she was way cooler and way pretty and everything. And I latched onto her like a, like a little frog. I don't know. Okay. And I was like, Eunice, hey. Okay. And then I tried to like bond with her so hard here. I was like, Eunice, oh my God, do you have this issue where like you tell a guy that you like them and then they like you back and you freak out and she's like no she's like opposite she's like i could like not even care about a guy right but if he tells me he likes me all of a sudden i'm like wait i kind of like you and i'm like oh my god she's so cool i'm like really, really? yeah no that's that's I, I probably like that too sometimes <laughs> anyways it's like a confess i don't know maybe it needs to be studied but i think it comes from the fear of actually like like i think it similarly in college i was on tinder a lot Swipe, 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 swipe. Match, 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 match. Yap, 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 yap. Hey, wanna meet up? Block. <laughs> nope. No. No, I do not want to meet up. I do not. <laughs> I have never met a single person from Tinder, but I have had so many conversations. Instant block. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Why? Why? The fear. I think there's a fear of meeting them and then seeing me in person and being like, oh no. Or the fear of it actually going somewhere, terrifying. The the game itself, fun. Why? I I don't know why. Am I am I a heartbreaker? Uh, in seventh grade, Samuk would say, "Why am I dropping names? Like I should be masking these names, but I'm not." He said I broke his heart. Yeah, I, yeah. He would he would he would tell you I did. <laughs> don't you have picks up? Yeah, but it's like different. Like I can pick the picks. What if they see me in person from like that angle? And then they're like, <laughs> from down there. And they're like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I can't control the situation. So I feel more insecure. And then what if I act all weird? And they're like, yo, this girl's, I don't know. So that, that was my issue a lot in college. So I think that's the same thing from the, the club to, 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 um, you know, the, the, on AIM with, with, you know, that guy, did I say Jeff? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> His name was Jeff. Okay. I, I literally loved him. Like I, he, and he was also like a best friend of mine. Like I just, I was like deeply in love with this guy when I was, I seventh grade, how old are you? Hmm. Seventh, eighth grade, like 12, 11. I was like, this is, he's the best guy ever. And, and then bam, he liked me back and I, I could not fathom that. And I, I ran away. My name Jeff. <laughs> Eli's a different guy. Eli is the seventh grade guy that was the, became the um, that became the uh, the the guy I met. And, and and the craziest thing is I don't know why I just like freaked out. Like he, like you know what I mean? Like I just I just ran away. I can't tell you anything he did wrong. I was just more of like I I, I don't want it. And I, and I couldn't really identify what exactly, but I think that something in me was just like, I had fight or flight, like I had to go. <laughs> that was, I literally went to my mom and I'm like, mom, why do I run? Why am I scared of boys? And she's just like, you're allergic to boys, honey. What? Like, I was just like, ah, boy allergy. That's it. I'm allergic. <laughs> 
Like she just straight up was like, yep, allergic to boys. I was too. Don't worry. <laughs> just so matter of fact. <laughs>